G'day, I hope you're well. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. What beautiful weather it was. Just a quick update following on from our open homes over the weekend and a bit of a market update as to what's happening in the, in the marketplace at the moment. So we had a number of open homes, um, some with uh, a few numbers through them, some with larger numbers. We had eight and nine groups through two of our open homes. That shows there's certainly a lot of people still out there looking, but there is a lot more choice at the moment as well, and that's the feedback we're hearing from the buyers out there. They've got a lot to look at over the weekend, and it seems like there's a few more uh, properties for them to look from. So that's changing the landscape a little bit for sellers. Now, we have seen the RBA influence the market with their recent discussions about rate rises. However, on the economic front, and based on some of the articles that I read over the weekend, it looks like there's definitely gonna be a rate cut later this year because all indicators, economic indicators, indicate the, the markets, uh, the economy's not doing as well as, as we might think. Now, the inflation figure is what the RBA is really concerned about. But if you look at retail spending, that's certainly come down in the March period. If you look at consumer spending, that's flat or negative as well. Uh, wage growth looks like it's not going to um, go upwards, if anything, downwards. And the employment, um, unemployment rate looks like it's on the rise potentially a bit as well. So these indicators sort of show that the economy's um, a little bit unstable and, and certainly not growing um, like we'd expect. And that's going to have an impact on inflation. So obviously the RBA uh, makes their decisions around that inflationary figure. And if that inflation continues to come down, which it looks like it should do based on those economic indicators, then we would expect a rate cut later this year. Now, what we're seeing, auction numbers are through the roof. Sydney had uh, record auction numbers. They predicted it's going to go up again this week. Um, so a lot more people coming to the market right now. And that might be for a number of reasons, financial factors, um, costs of living pressures, things like that. People are deciding to sell and move on. Um, it might be another factor that, you know, this media talk about rising rates later in the year, maybe people are just trying to get in now to capitalise on what is still a, a very positive market. For whatever the case is, if they cut those rates, um, we will see more buoyancy later in the year. And so I think now is a great time to sell and potentially later in the year might be a great time as well. But if you're buying, you'd want to sort of get into the market now. And, and I think we have seen prices slightly you know, for some properties, some owners, whether they're investment owners or, or sellers, um, are lowering their expectations to meet the market to sell their property. Um, but most are holding on to their, their expectations. And if, if that continues, I don't expect prices will drop. If anything, they will still nudge up a little bit towards the end of the year, not in great leaps and bounds. And that's something to be mindful of. As a seller, prices aren't jumping up five to 10% year on year. Um, it's a slower growth, but the prices are still buoyant. So my news to you is that it seems like there's a lot of buyers active out there at the moment, and there are. We had one offer come through on a property and a couple of other interest parties on two others. Um, so it seems like there is a little bit of activity happening out there at the moment, which is great news. Um, there is still that level of uncertainty about what these rate rises or cuts will happen later in the year, and I think that's making a few people nervous. Anyway, that's a quick update for you. If you have any questions about the market, what it's doing and what it means to you as a buyer or seller, Give me a call. I'd love to chat to you and um, yeah, um, flesh it out with you. Have a great day ahead. Talk soon.